everyone welcome back to a new video i feel like i've not done this for so long <laughs> i feel really out of touch i think it's actually been a week which is oh my gosh crazy long crazy long uh so this is like a recreation set i saw this set that i really really fell in love with on a facebook group and the lady that done it i think is called daria um Balladina, Balladina. I can't remember. I'll put her name in the description box though, so um, you can go and find her. Um, I don't know if she's on. I'll see if she's on Instagram actually, and I'll put her account down below. Um, but she, oh, she just created this set, and it was lovely. So this is not exactly the same, but it's very similar. So I'm going to call it a recreation set. Um, so the colours I've got, uh, as you saw, were sweet peas, wolfsbane and saltstone. So my first nail, I've put two coats of sweet peas and I've cured each coat for 30 seconds. Then I'm going to take my saltstone and with the brush that's in the bottle, I'm going to try and create, try, um, and create a, um, I was going to say a, <laughs> I don't even know what I was going to say then, a clock face, uh, but I'm going to use my 8mm detailing brush and I've put a little bit of white on my mirror palette and I'm just going to neaten up the outside of the clock face just so that it's it's more of a, you know, a better shape and then I'm going to put that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. You're going to need some artisan gel paints, I've got out my black and my white um, I'm going to use the black now to create a line between the white and the sweet pea gel polish. We we got a little puppy for Christmas. Oh my god, he's adorable. I say puppy, he he's still a puppy, but he's 11 months old. Um, I love him to bits already. We've only had him a few days and he's just, he's such a sweetheart. He's a little scamp, but he is so lovely. <laughs> Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen a picture of him on Instagram. He's called Teddy and he's a cavapuchon. Oh, he's trying to eat the kids' toys. He's a little rascal. Um, so back to the nails. We are now painting some Roman numerals onto the clock face. I'm only going to put on nine and I'm going to put on part of six and part of twelve. You want to make them roughly the same size or as close to the same size as possible. And then between the Roman numerals, we're going to put dots. So we'll have a dot at 7 and 8 and a dot at 10 and 11. Okay, so I was going to cure that and then I remembered that I'm going to put a, I want to put a border around the clock. So I'm just going to go around with one more black line. Um, I, you can make yours as thin or as thick as, as you want. I wanted to make mine quite thick because I'm going to put some glitter um, on, on the, on the, in the border, sorry, in the border. Um, if you are planning on checking out Nelkami's website, they have got 20% off. I think it's until midnight on New Year's Eve. So do go and check out the website because it will be worth, even if you just get, they sell the artisan gel paints separately. So even if you just get like the black and the white just to try them out, honestly, oh my goodness, I could not recommend them enough. So I'm just going over some of the black lines with a little bit of white. Um, not too much because you don't obviously want to get rid of the, you don't want to not be able to see the black but it, I don't know, it just, just sort of, so it looks like lights kind of hitting it, I suppose. There we go. And then that will cure for 60 seconds. Um, I'm gonna go over the top with my non-wipe top coat from Nalchemy because I don't want, when I put the glitter on, I only want the glitter to stick to the inside of that border. So I'm gonna cover the nail with non white top coat. <clears throat> then I'm going to put a little bit more top coat on my mirror palette and I'm going to use my detailer brush to put some top coat just in that border. <clears throat> so try and be as neat as you can. 
um, at this point. Okay, then when you are done, this glitter is called Snake by Anne, of course, it's from Nail Sugar. It is really nice. It goes so nicely with this colour, Sweet Pea. Um, I'm just putting some on the end of my brush and tapping it into that top coat. You can just sugar it on, but I don't want to, I don't want to flood it too much with glitter. Um, that might not be the right word. But I want to make sure it's all covered, but I don't want to go over the top because I want to, yeah, I don't want to go over the top. <laughs> I'm just going to brush off any loose glitter that hadn't got in that top coat, but there probably won't be a lot. Um, and then I'm going to go over the top with the velvet matte top coat from Nalchemy. This is the best top. This is the best matte top coat you will, you will ever use. I've just ordered some more of this one actually because it's so good. Um, and then you're going to need some AB crystals. These are from Nail Sugar. Um, Nail Sugar, you can get 10% off your entire order using code NATMUG10. So do check out Nail Sugar's website. I love this snake bite glitter as well. You can get that from Nail Sugar too. Um, so I put the velvet matte top coat on and I haven't cured it. And I'm going to put the stones into that uncured top coat um, normally I would suggest using a base or some kind of like resin to adhere the crystals on with but I was particularly lazy here <laughs> I mean if you do it this way they probably won't last that long on the nail I don't think not as long as what they would if you used a resin so I'm just going to put a few each like at the top and a few at the bottom and then I'll cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds and that is our clock nail finished. I really like the, the crystals on the matte polish, I think it makes the crystals really sparkle. So for the next nails, I'm going to go on to the nail with two coats of the Wolf Spain gel polish. This is really nice, this one. Um, cure the coats for 30 seconds between each one. By the way, I hope you've all had a great Christmas. What are you up to for New Year? And did you get anything nice for Christmas? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> I love Christmas so much. Um, so I'm doing the same here. I'm just tapping my brush into the glitter. And then I am tapping the brush over the uncured gel polish I just like the way the glitter lies flat when you do it this way um, and I'm kind of doing a sh uh, sugar blend I was gonna say a glitter blend a glitter fade and then with your brush again just if you want to you can wipe off any loose but there probably won't be a lot and then I'm gonna go over the top of this with my matte top coat you should see oh god what this looks like when it's matte top coated if you think, if you never think to matte top coat your glitter, you really should think about it because look at that. How stunning does that look? And then I've done the same thing but using um, the colour Sweet Peas and this is what it looks like. Now that snake bite over that Sweet Pea colour looks amazing. I love it so much. I just, I'm kind of sick of Christmas colours now. <laughs> And I, I just really love these two colours together. <clears throat> so the the next um, type of nail, I suppose, that I'll be doing, um, I'm using Sweet Pea. And I, again, apply your first coat, cure for 30 seconds, and then apply your second coat. Um, then I'm going to just, you, you can use the Artisan Gel Paints to do this, but I was just using what was left on my mirror palette because I wanted to use it up. And I'm just going to create a crescent moon shape. It kind of goes a little bit wrong, but I do get it, I do get there <laughs> eventually. I've not been at my nail desk for almost a week and you know you I start to get like really bad with drawers I'm like I need to get to my nail desk I need to get to my nail desk and I, I sat down and I done a set yesterday but when I recorded it my camera was the wrong way 
so if I'd have put it on YouTube I would have had two black lines down each side of the video and um, so I had to make sure when I record my my phone has to be uh, horizontally it has to be horizontal and not vertical otherwise you get two black lines down the side um, hopefully you'll know what I mean <laughs> uh, I'm going over now with some velvet matte I cured the polish for 30 seconds um, again I'm not going to top coat this uh, not going to cure this yet and um, I've got in here this nail art wheel is from nail sugar um, I'm going to use these silver micro beads and the AB crystals again and I'm going to put some crystal see this just was a bit of a nightmare doing it in your top coat because your crystals have a habit of going for a walk <laughs> so if you do it this way just remember to be patient so yeah make sure you just get them where you want them and then between each crystal I'm going to put two micro beads and again, they, they decided that they wanted to go for a walk as well. So because it took me quite a little, well, it didn't take me that long, but it, it was really fiddly. So I ended up not recording all of this. <laughs> but once, once you've got them where you want them and you're happy, shove it in the lamp as quickly as you can. Because otherwise, <laughs> they'll, just, they'll just keep sliding off. <laughs> Anyway, I got it done. Um, you can, of course, use your like a resin. I'm using my Rossi base to adhere the these bits to the star. Um, there we go. So that is that nail done. Okay, darling, you play that one. Yeah, it goes that way. Yep. Um, I've also done one similar, but using the perp, the dark purple, the wolf spain, and this is the finished set. I hope you like them. Uh, if you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. Do let me know what you're doing for New Year's Eve. Um, I don't think we're doing anything, so... <laughs> we are hardcore. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you for watching, everyone. Um, and I will see you on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Well done, it. Well done, darling. Let me turn it off now.